started right up nice, John. Okay, you got your little mixture screw, that's all you got. You just that to, we just it to 12 parts of air to one part of gas. You just it to where you get the most RPM so you don't have all this expensive computer to test it with. Now you notice when we rev it up, the mixture thins out. It's supposed to do that because the uh, vehicle requires less fuel when it's going down the road. Let's check this pressure down here. The run is three pounds. Switch it over to high pressure. Switch it over to a non-regulated thing. If it's, if it's too much pressure and this thing does not like it, this mixture will start getting richer and richer and richer. Uh, it looks like it's going to see the bubbles going in there. That tells me right there that that pump, that that uh, float, that float in there is not floating enough to stop it. Put it back to three. See that right there? Bad sign. To get the best performance out of this kind of carburetor <coughs> with the unleaded fuel of today, you're going to have to get a regulator. <coughs> you're going to have to get a regulator and put it in there so for about three pounds. When you come back to 12, then your flow will shut off. Otherwise, you saw what happened when we tried to jack the pressure up. There you go, John. It's on its way. You'll get lots of videos showing you how to install the thing. Just don't be so intelligent like a lot of these know-it-alls. They won't listen to our video. <laughs> don't watch them. And they're the guys that call back complaining, well, did you do this? Did you do that? No. Well, that's because you didn't watch a video and you installed it wrong.